What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube draft here on Magic the Gathering. Internet. UK. Slash Elon Musk. Underscore Tesla. Asterisk. Jimbo Jones. <laughs> Was it Jimbo Jones? Yeah. Is that the redneck Martian Manhunter? Instead of John Johns, you got Jimbo Jones? Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Who needs AC in Florida anyways? Yeah, it's this is the worst state to lose AC, I want to be honest with you. It's not ideal. Yeah, I can't wait to go out to dinner later and get AC again. It's going to be nice. Where are you going to get dinner? I don't know. Oh, you just mean in general? Yeah. Okay. I was just going to make pizza here, but then now I feel like it's at a point where I'm like, well, I'd rather not turn the Heat stove the on in, yeah. The, yeah, in the house with no AC, so... Boy, that's real awkward. Sometimes old Belschnickel is so thick he hurts those he protect. He do. He does. He do protect, but he do hurt as he do attack as well. This uh, this draft's taking a little bit to pop. Pop pop. That's a little magnitude from a little show called Community. In case you guys have uh, you ever heard of it. They never heard of it. No one's ever heard of that show. Six out of eight. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Our buddy McGimp said he was going to uh, to be in the same queue with us, but I don't think he's on right now. So maybe he's on. Actually, he might. He's probably on. He just leaves his computer on at work because. Because Blizzard life. No, he's actually not on. Luis is on, though. Cool, cool, cool. All right, seven out of eight. You ready? I'm waiting. Chevy Chase is my favorite on the show, on the show but the Black Lady is freaking hilarious. What's our pick here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Pestermite, go for it. I mean, I feel like you always just take the Pestermite and just hope you get the combo, right? When I lived in El Paso, we didn't have AC, but something called swamp coolers. What's a swamp cooler? I have also never heard of these, and I live in a literal swamp. So, I also like Marari's Wake. I always take Armageddon and Ravages of War, and it never works out for us. We never end up having creatures, and our opponents have creatures, and we're just like, well, I can't Armageddon here, or else I lose. I think it's just always Pestermite. Ugh, it's so weird. See that bird? I saw that bird. That thing was huge. I think it was a vulture. Probably waiting for us to die heat stroke and then it'll take advantage of us. I just took this. You know why? Because YOLO. That's why. Snapcaster? Oh, what up, Utamog? Utamog? Mm -hmm. why, would you, why did you call him Utamog? Why not? Cause, well, it's not his name. That's why. Sure it is. No, it's not Merkel. Yeah, that's my name. That's not I'm your Merkel name. I'm Merkel and this is Utamog. I do not have audio or video, just chat. I think you're alone there. I think a lot of people would... See, considering people are actually saying snappies, I think they can see the video. Wake would have let you cast Ulmog. That's true. Wake might come back, though. I think it's Snapcaster, right? What do you What do you want to pick, man? Just just, just man up, bone up, and... and pit, I pit. gave you my pick. What did you say? Utamog. Utamog. Mm -hmm. If you don't call him by his name, we're not taking it. Snapcast is probably better. <laughs> God. I would have taken the Ulamog, too. I would have done it, man. Oh, control magic? That's good. If we took Ulamog, we probably wouldn't have anything here. Yeah, I'm just taking control magic. We got to sit here and watch Mike try to bone up. <laughs> oh, man. I generally listen to only audio, have video minimized while I work. That's not, I don't think that's weird at all. Because then it just feels like we're hanging out. Like, uh, hey, Guar, Guarglomar. Hey, I was just uh, wondering if you uh, could pass me that stapler. Now it feels like I'm just at work with you. Another curve. Two, three, four. Bam. It's beautiful. Our deck is beautiful. We can't lose. 
17 lands, go. Or 20, 37. Can you zoom in on the pest art? What's going on in there? Buddy, you know I can. How do I get the thing? Display. It's a little fairy, and it's a big giant face because it was, uh, because it was Lorwyn, and so she's giving him all these lashes on his nose with her little, her little dagger. Hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Well, now you know. Phantasmage and dissolve. Interesting. I like dissolve because we have Snapcaster Mage. I'm glad you finally pronounced my name, and it only took one and a half try. One and a half tries, Gwarglemar. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, maybe if he didn't pick such a weird name, what do you think? I think Image is a better card, but it all works better with Snapcaster. All the counter spells are pretty good. We already have this to take their biggest dude. That's true. We can dissolve it up. Oh, I've got a new appreciation for good commentary. And you watching my stream makes me feel good about that. I appreciate it's that. another combo piece. It is. I think it's also the best pick in this pack. What if his mom chose his name? For yeah, that's a good point. I'm sorry. Tell Mrs. Gorgomar I apologize. This is where we want to be. They're just gonna. We're just gonna get Kiki Jiki in this next pack, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine, little Kiki Jiki. Oh, Kulik Way. That's good. Gosmit, you're doing good here. Kulik Way. <laughs> Make you feel some Kulik Way. <laughs> oh man, that fits so perfectly that I just can't even be. Uh, you know, it's something. I don't know. I don't know what Reha means. I don't know what's going on anymore. Magic is a game full of some little fairies. Spire Bluff Canal. That's what's known as an on-color land. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's also a Man of War, which I think is worse than an on-color land. <laughs> Reet is just uh that's just chat screeching. I agree with you. Hey little Michael. What are you doing with your life? Have you read Manowar? No, that's a that's a metal band. Manowar is a metal band. You ever heard of Manowar? Yeah, man. Have you really? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, I'll be a bell schnickel. Oh, I like looter. I also don't hate this Chandra. Sons of Orden, we swore. Orden? Odin. <laughs> Sons of Orden? Sons of Odin, we swore by the hammer of Thor. Okay. You, is that Manowar lyrics? Yes, it is. Wow, that's super impressive, man. I took the looter. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's good. Uh, nature's little treasure. There's no stipulation right now. That's Man of War, right? I'll take your life if you'll take no, mine too! No, that's Iron Maiden. That's Iron Man of War. <laughs> It's the same band. The thing about Man of War is every album they have a different theme. Which, which is interesting. Which is the Trooper themed album? None of them. Well, that's unfortunate. If there's no stip, why is our deck so bad? Oof. Oof. Right Dungeon Geasts or Burst Lightning? I think we want Burst Lightning with Snappy. I think you might be right. I, fi I file like I haw to misspell everything now. It's my thing. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I already get the impression that your name is misspelled, Gosmit, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, this guy came back? I, mm. I had a feeling he might. Yeah. I think we're taking this guy. He gets all the pieces. <laughs> he also gets snappy. 
But Am I bad that I'm in an ice cream truck every day and instead of eating ice cream here and there, sometimes I sneak in other chocolate candy bars into my freezer? No, that's not. Hey, man, that's like if you're working at a pizza restaurant and going to get a burger, right? Like you, you would get totally tired of ice cream or pizza or like wherever you do. I think that's totally reasonable. Also, frozen Snickers or like frozen Three Musketeers or whatever are delicious. So no way, man. No one's going to snack shame you here. Now I have the trooper stuck in my head. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. We should not bring up Man of War. <laughs> well, this is this is a pretty bad pack. This is a piss poor pack, isn't it? Just isn't dread it? war in case we can splash it. Although my price seems well, I guess they're the same. Yeah, because you're still getting one. You're still splashing for one black, right? Yeah. Hellheim RPG, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And I'm just going to take that. If we get the lands for it, it's fine. Did you guys hear anything? Did you guys hear a notification go off? I didn't hear it. I just kind of saw it. Ooh, Dark Dwellers is great. Especially if we can get that Ancestral Vision. Is this the first time you've got the Trooper stuck in your head and it's not my doing? It might be. I still kind of blame you because it does feel like the default, uh, you know, the default thing. You know. You know. You know. For the Frozen Snickers comment and for many hours of great entertainment. But mostly the Snickers comment. Also, interesting fun fact. Frozen Snickers, the Snickers ice cream bars, and regular Snickers, not the same. They are different snacks with different ingredients. So you can freeze a Snickers bar and it would be totally different than if you bought the pre-frozen Snickers bars. Because they have like ice cream in them, I guess. I don't know, whatever that means. <sighs> Torchfiend seems good. I don't like this sword. I never like this sword. Mm, Torchfiend's fine. I like Torchfiend because if they have their own sword or Jitte or something, it's actually, it's actually just a great. It's just a good card. I like Manic Vandal better because you get to keep the body, but all right, our deck dried up a little bit towards the end. But I also don't think these packs had a lot of blue and red in them to begin with. So fingers crossed. Cross them. Cross your toes too. I can't. I want. I want you to do it. I have toe itis. Splash green. <laughs> Mega morph. I think I'm more likely to play this than the other one, so I am going to actually take this. And a Phyrexian Rager. Hey man, you ever had a Phyrexian Rager before? No, man. You ever been on a Phyrexian hard. Rager? No. You don't go that hard? Mm -mm. Whatever, maybe one day. Did you ever, uh, you ever hear that band, Man of War? I'm not going to respond because you're just going to sing an Iron Maiden song. You don't even know Iron Maiden. You ever heard of Iron Maiden before? What's the pick here, smart guy? There's only Probably one Jace. Choice. That's correct. He made the correct choice. I took it. Can you? Can I change the language for the con the client? Can I put the client in like Japanese so all the cards look Japanese? They look Japanese. So they have Japanese wow. text on. <laughs> what do you mean they look Japanese? That's racist. RPG Badger, welcome back! Thank you so much for the four months in a row. Really appreciate it. You are my favorite Badger of all the Badgers that I know. Should we just take Sulfur Falls? How yes. many Badgers do you know? Uh, I don't really have to discuss that with you hey look i just like danny Trejo. okay is this the is this the magic video did you see this commercial mm. this magic video with danny Trejo in it really no it's got machete in it well you didn't show it to me well it's because we're watching all right sure here hold on we'll just play it because it's not gonna get cut i'm not gonna get demonetized for this the attack God, I want to win so bad. All right, we're playing Mama. All right, we'll just actually show it on the stream because it's just a... Uh... And... Because it's just a Wizards video. It's got Sean Plott and Danny Trejo in it, so... Send in the attack! God, I want to win so bad. All right, we're playing Mono Green Stomp because this is the best deck in the universe. Yeah. 
you have to play your land of war elves first turn. Because yeah. then you can play your growth from the ashes second turn. And have ramped up to playing your Gigantosaurus on turn three. Danny, I know. Hmm? Go ahead and play it. The elves are the right play. <laughs> Do you ever read your cards? Throw that one down. Draw out his counter spell. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let me get in there. No, right no, there. No, 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 no. Just go, Holmes. It's over. Day nine gets defeated. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so that's that. All right. Oh, oh, it's your boy. This was, I was like, all right, Rabble Master. Like, I could see it out of the corner of my eye, so I was like, we'll just take the Rabble Master for worst case scenario. But now we got a cryptic command. It's a good boy. That is a good boy. Don't lick my hand, Hunter. Lick his hand, Hunter. I'll poop your nose. Yeah, he does. That's not a threat to him. Sure it is. No, he likes that. I've seen him shy away once or twice. He does shy away sometimes. What does Arcane Artisan do? You don't know what this card does? No. I feel like I've talked about this card like 20 times. For three mana, you draw a card, and then you can exile a card from your hand, like an Ulamog, right? If a creature card is exiled this way, like the, like the Ulamog, you create a token copy of that card. So end of turn, I can go draw a card, exile Ulamog, make a copy of Ulamog. It stays on the battlefield until Arcane Artisan leaves. It seems pretty strong. This card itself is fragile, and I have yet to build around it, but... Hmm. Is dual caster mage combo a thing? <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. I think it's Jet or Locust, but I think it's Jet. Yeah, Locust too slow. Oh, wow. 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 That's one of my favorite swords. I always think it's funny when I get the Sword of Fire and Ice in the blue-red deck. I can't play it because it's pro my colors. Yeah, uh. This creature is it gets pro-red from itself and then it guildy dies. Yeah, I'm just going to take the sword. Do you agree with this? Yes. Arctrail? Arctrail is surprisingly versatile. Against certain decks, you can just kill their one power guy and their two, or one toughness guy and their two toughness guy. I'll take a Stratus Dancer. I never like Stratus Dancer, because you usually have to play it on three to get any value out of it whatsoever. That's true. You can just take Hellkite, too, for that... Uh, I is very countend with my thing. I have no idea. Now it's gotten to a point where I just don't even know what you're saying right now. You can pay a Hellkite. That shoots him right in the face, man. It does. I don't know how to. How do we get it out into the onto the battlefield? Uh, we play a land, then we play a land, then we play a land, then we okay. play a land, then we 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 cast it. Okay, I took the arc trail. So okay, all right. Just wanted to make that clear to you. I like sort of feast and famine. I also like reflecting pool. It's good when we have Cryptic Command. Yeah. I don't know if we'd play two swords. It is nice playing a threat and then also having uh, untap Cryptic Command or Dissolve Mana up, so... Could be good. You can also play a Char. I want to take the sword. I think. Char works with Goblin Dark Dwellers. Let's take Lightning Strike. Maybe we're just a burn deck. Look, we could have had Ravages of War, too. Look, now we have Arc Trail, Lightning Strike, Magma Jet, and Burst Lightning. This is a lot of this is a lot of a lot of fire, a lot of fire and brimstone. What do you how do you feel about this guy? Just kill him. <laughs> okay. Kill him and will him. Kill him. And will them. Mm -hmm. Arcane Artisan is, is into Hellkite seems decent if they will. I agree with you. I don't think they will, but I would not mind playing Arcane Artisan. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but then I just feel like I don't build around it, so I don't have any really good creatures. Yeah, that I don't I know want. how good it would be in this deck. The problem is you're drawing a card no matter what. And if you get a copy of a creature, it's almost super value. Like, if they kill the Artisan, that sucks. But at worst, they've killed the Artisan and you've already drawn a card, so... Also, one thing to note is that when Arcane Artisan dies, the creature gets uh, destroyed at the beginning of the next end step. So even if they kill it during your turn, you still always get to attack with the copy. I think it gets haste, right? If it doesn't get haste, that would be interesting. 
but it's a red it's a blue card so i'm not sure if it does get haste i guess it doesn't have to get haste because they're presuming that it's going to live for multiple turns but if you make it on the end step it's just fine right hey mike your mom also works the goblin doctor should we draft her i'm drunk <laughs> well this has been amazing take that firecraft man we'll just burn him out i actually like that idea because we actually, actually have a, a decent card and we have Hun thunder Maw hellkite thunder Maw hunter kite hunter moth hellkite that was a pretty late Scarab God. You're a Scarab God. Am I? Please, like you don't know. I don't. Please, like you don't know. I don't. Please, like you don't know. I'm drunk. This deck is interesting. Your mother's interesting. Bolt him. Bolt him and, and, and mold him. You want to play that? I don't know. At a certain point, I'm just like, this is too many burn spells. That's Then you just die. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Dead formats at world at worlds are... What is the world's format? Someone said Kaladesh Standard or something, and I'm like, that seems terrible when Ravnica is coming out next week. Why wouldn't they just wait... It's for, really dumb. Why wouldn't they just wait two weeks to have worlds and then display your brand new format that looks like, why are you showing off standard decks? And Dominaria Draft? Why wouldn't you show off Ravnica? It's in two weeks. It's in, It's next week. Yeah. It's in one week. Hellkite next? Oh my god, I don't even understand. Just do early Ravnica Worlds! That's what they could have done. They could have actually given all the players play sets of, of Guilds of Ravnica, and they could have built it before the set's even out. And then they could have just played decks. Oh my god, I can't even. That's an unbelievable misplay. That's is pretty good. Scry make them blocky. That's a uh, that's a uh, pretty good. That's a little god of the sea humor. <laughs> the card printers were broken. Yeah, of course they were. I don't understand. Who's gonna like? Who cares about standard with Kaladesh and Aethervolt? They're like, hey, this is literally the last week you're able to play these cards. So watch this event, so you can just see more Scarab God and energy decks. Who cares? People are so done with it. You're literally having Worlds, the biggest magic event of the year, take place the literal the, the literal exact weekend where people are, have it checked out of standard at the highest levels. That's amazing to me. Mike, what was... Oh, was, were you disappointed with my Thassa pun? It was pretty bad. I thought that's a good pun. Oh my god. Just stop it. Uh, we had a good time. Now you have to play it. Is it the biggest? I mean, wait. The, the Worlds? Yes, Worlds is the biggest event. Not close. It is 24 of the best players in the year who qualified over the course of the year. So, like, it's all Pro Tour champions. It's, like, the highest ranking constructed player, highest ranking limited player, the draft master, the player of the year. Like, it's it's literally everyone who's who's at the top of the top. That is what Worlds is. Oh, 10 please stop bits. See, this is what happens. You 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 send you send the bad puns out in the world, then they then they they pay you to stop. It's perfect. Twenty three, and can, let me tell you how awkward Jerry Jerry's um uh, Jerry's like boycotting of worlds is, and then you have twenty three players at the event. So literally one person every round at worlds is getting a buy. That's terrible for their highest level of competition. No joke. That is not good. Also, if we get the Kiki Jiki combo and we only have like six mana, we can actually exile Kiki Jiki from our hand, copy it, play Pestermite, and then go off like that. Worlds is in, like, is Worlds isn't open to the public? Oh my god. Of course it isn't. Glad I'm going over to a Smash local. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, we were told our other roommate, Felipe, that the AC's off, and he's like, well, glad I'm not coming home. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, guys, who have to stay here. What you happened? have to. I guess that's fair. A Braid, Force Spike, or Seagate Oracle? I feel like those are the options. What do you think? I like Smeagate. Hmm. 
At what point do we have too many three drops, you think? I don't think we're playing that artisan. You're a real hater. Hater's gonna hate. Lover's gonna love. I don't even want none of the above. Well, just take Avalanche Riders. They just randomly wins, right? You can randomly get them with Avalanche Riders. It's also not a three drop. It's not a three drop. And we could uh, we could Kiki Jiki it if we have a Kiki Jiki out. Otherwise, it's like Force Spike. I think Riders is fine. I don't know. This pack is interesting. I just had a kid pay me with a roll of dimes, but instead of giving me the sealed package of dimes and letting me make change, he opened the seal of dimes and made... Wow. You have like a roll of quarters and you're like, hold on, let me break it open. What do you think? What do you think? Seagate? I took Seagate. Okay. We do need another piece. Chicken. I like it. I do like a, I do like a beautiful chicken. You don't like it over Venser? Oh, uh, yeah. Venser's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This card is hard to deal with, though. We could also uh, Arcane Art is in this Sundering Titan. Hmm. The problem is this costs three mana, and then you have to untap with it for three. You know what I'd much rather they put in the cube? Spell Seeker. Which is a card I put in my cube. Wasn't it in the cube before? It might be in the... No, it's never been, because the cards weren't legal. Like, the last iteration of the Legacy Cube was before these cards came out. Didn't we see it in something, though? Didn't it have, like, red around it or something weird? Some weird glitch like that? I thought it was this. I thought that was Arcane Artisan. Oh, Spellseeker. I'll just show you guys so you don't have to like look it up. That is, that is a sizable... It's good to get your Ancestral Recalls. Is Venser or Chicken? Venser. Alright. I mean, I don't disagree. I think it's actually fine. I think it's funny we haven't seen... Uh... Scalding Tarn or Volcanic or Steam Vents yet. Well, I mean, we have Pestermite. I think it is Search. We have Pestermite and Zealous Conscript. So, like, if someone else is trying to for the combo, like, they have to get to Seaver Exarch exactly. Yeah, I'll just take Search. Sarkon, Thirst. I kind of like Sarkon here. You like that over Worm Coil? Just a big fat Worm Boy? Yeah, it's a pretty good top end, I guess. Haven't played a Worm Boy in a while. I haven't. Yeah, we actually haven't. What plane is that spell circulated from? I don't know, Rockland. She looks very rock-like, right? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. This looks. This looks like... Mages and warriors recruited from across Kylem. I don't know where Kylem is. Display their skills at Valor's Reach. I don't know what any of that means. This might as well be Game of Thrones. Kylem. <laughs> is this what you're like? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Uh, on this world, beings flock from all over the plane to the arena of Valor's Reach. Oh, okay. Kylem is the Battle Bond set. Okay, that makes sense. Kylem is in New Jersey, I think. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, too. Oh, boy. This pack's pretty rough. That's like Flame Slash, I guess. Sure. Or we could trick Talrand. Try to get the value. Try to make them chickens? Yeah, make them chickens. You gotta make them chickens, boy. Yeah, that's probably better than Flame Slash. I don't know what we're cutting yet, though. Maybe Torch Fiend for the sideboard. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We actually do have a lot of uh, instants and sorceries in this deck. Yeah, that's a good amount. Plus Cryptic. Yeah, this deck seems good so far. I'm a fan. Kyle, Kylem is what my buddy Kyle says when he gets somebody. Oh, Kylem! That's because you got... It's like got him, but with Kyle. Man, the one time we don't get the pieces? Come on. I think there's still chance. I don't no. think we're back at pack one yet. What do you like better? Kiki Jiki or Splinter Twin? If you can only get one. Splinter Twin? Yeah, me too. It's just so much easier. There's so many times where you literally don't have three red. Are you okay, man? It's hot. Warm What's... sweat off the brow. I'm not that I'm not that hot right now. Oh, I'm a much bigger gentleman than you are. <laughs> no, alright. 
Remember that Horling Outburst? That time Horling Outburst was great with uh, Dark Dwellers. Were you there for that? Probably. Probably not. I don't know if it's... Or is it an incendiary flow? It's three damage to... Any, any target, it's a sorcery, but it gets exiled if it dies. It's pretty good. But we do have a lot of burn already. I think I like it better than Arc Trail. I like it better than Rift Bolt. Okay, sure. But do I like it better than Horling Outburst? We're not that aggressive. All right, whatever. Two of our sheeties. I don't even like cutting the the suspend bolt because, like, we have dark dwellers too. What are we cutting then, man? Um. Is this a cough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One card is going to come back from this pack. Two cards are going to come back from the last pack. I wonder what the odds are of uh, Hordling Outburst being one of them. I don't think Koth is that great because we're going to be pretty heavy blue. Yeah, I guess so. I like Hellrider. I think it's just just a solid, a solid devil devil dog. Solid devil dog. Look, it's literally a devil dog. Oh, it's a guy riding a devil dog. Yeah, this is his devil dog. This is his hostess devil dog or Drake's cakes. Hostess, hostess makes Drake's cakes. I don't know, man. You guys They're are all those companies all blend together they do i saw swiss cake rolls uh little debbie swiss swiss cake rolls you know those the, the round ones yeah and they were pumpkin spice flavored and i was like whoa a, a two little debbie <laughs> <laughs> smell rider all right we need one cut now if we're playing like this seagate oracle you don't like seagate oracle it draws you a card michael Opt or Mizium Orders. Opt is actually pretty good with a bunch of our... Let's go to the... Uh, Talorand? Yeah. Yeah. Mizium Orders is just a wiper, though. That's a wiper. I don't know if Pestermite is actually still good if we don't have the combo. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, that's fair. I'll take an Opt. I don't think we need a Mizium Orders for this deck. Am I high right now or is Frank making zero sense? It's possible. That's a... That's a likely... A likely thing. Oh, the Avalanche boys came back. So did the Force Spike. Hmm. What Take do you think? Noble. Just go for it. Really? Get in there. I like it more if we had more than one one drop. Right now, I like Force Spike. I like Avalanche Riders. We feel like a tempo a tap a tempo we deck. If we're a tempo we deck, then Force Spike is gonna crush, right? <sighs> sure. I don't want another four drop is the only problem. And I'd rather not cut any of these for Avalanche Riders. Oh my god, the chicken came mm -hmm. back. I think chicken's better than Talrand. I think Talrand might be just too cute. Oh, but we got so many spells right now. Yeah. Like I thought we were we were maximizing it's our like spells untap with him, because of you just play them later. You play them on like five with like four spike and opt up. Warning, inhuman meanness. Nice first pick, Pester. God, that's so mean. Is Surge as good as... I think Chicken is better than Hellrider. I don't think we're a Hellrider deck. Yeah, that makes sense. But the Goblin... the, the knowing, knowing the way this draft has looked, the Hordling Outburst will 100% come back when there's two cards in the pack, and then we're going to be in a real awkward position because Hordling Outburst is great with Dark Dwellers and great with Hellrider. Banefire for the sideboard? I actually like Banefire a lot because it just kills people. What a weird thing to say. What a weird quote out of context. I like Banefire because it just kills people. <laughs> oh, wait. Imperial Recruiter is not that great for us either now. Yep. That guy can go away. All right. And our three spots looking better. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, yeah, our three spots looking better. Our three spot. Oh. All right. You don't have to be like this. I would like to get this Rift Bolt in here, but I'm not super worried about it. Both of these guys are good. We don't have a lot of artifacts, though. I think we're just taking the Pyromancer. Here comes Hordling Outburst. I think it's even more obvious because uh, Red has been very open this draft. So, Hordling Outburst, which is going to make us change our entire thing. China Bull, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. How nice of you. You are a solid person. If you have... If you have... Oh, okay, that's not the pack. It's going to be the next pack. 
This guy's also not terrible with our deck. True. If you have to force something, what would it be? Gosmit, you are you're committing your commitment to this uh to this misspelling meme is really All right, now we take Horling Outburst. Are you ready? Obviously. Which makes Hellrider a lot better. Yeah. <sighs> Knew it. Ain't got no respect. It's also good for our sword because what if we just go mono red? What would that look like? I don't know, but these blue cards are so good. Maybe we could take out looter, actually. Yeah, we could take out looter. We could, like, cut the double blue stuff. Let's just see what the red... Are, let, let's see what it looks like. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut the blue cards. None of these red cards say draw a card on them, so I don't know why we're doing this, but I'll do it. In theory, we... This is not terrible, actually. Yeah. Kiln Fiend. Pyromancer. Yeah, it's it's rough. It's short, yeah. It's close. It's real close. I mean, Torch Fiend is playable, but... I don't think it's... I just don't think it's as good. He said double blue. Cryptic is a triple. Obviously, he wasn't advocating cutting Cryptic. Yeah. Then he'd be a real grade A moron. Also cut the Sword of Feast and Famine. And this guy. Alright, let's see if this works. 25 cards? Okay, okay. We can do this. How good is Search for his account, though? It's, I think it's pretty good. Kind of slow, though. You know what I'm going to say? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you're going to say that I'm kind of slow. I think I think Venser is probably one of the worst cards. But it's so good with inter well, we need interactables though. Interactables? Yeah, it bounces a thing. We get in there. Let me show you all our interactables, man. Arc Trail can probably be boarded out. Why don't you like Arc Trail? I don't understand. It kills a creature and deals them some damage. Or it does nothing. <clears throat> what how does it do less than Magma Jet? Because you get the scry. Also, Arc Trail it deals what? Two to one thing and one to another? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's killed two things a lot of times. Like, if they have two mana elves and you kill both of them with an arc trail, it's pretty backbreaking. Like, this actually seems like one of the better Talran decks I've, I've seen. Like, all of this, are the, all of these are spells that trigger Talran. That's a lot. 11 is a good amount. We could just cut um, one coil in. Yeah, here. I was going to actually suggest that. Like, we have a lot of damage stuff. Yeah, I think this deck looks great. I don't. I'd like the opt because I would want to play the one mana spell for the tower. Yeah, but what do we cut for it? I don't think it's worth cutting. We can cut search for opt. Yeah, I think I it, like that. It does trigger tower end, and you can flash it back with Snappy if you want to. Oh wait, you cut the wrong thing. You cut the snack out of the mage. Oh my you? god! Can you imagine if I just left it like that? And then we draw search, and we're like, wait, didn't I cut this? Make sure I didn't do that to anything else. Yeah, this deck looks great. Nine ten, that seems fine. Seems fine. Uh, I would actually err on the side of blue, maybe, just because we have triple blue. Like double, 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 triple, double, double, double. We definitely have more red. I think nine is still fine, right? Otherwise, we can go ten nine. I like I like one more blue just because if we want to snapcast our cryptic command, like that's almost impossible. And only needing two, we only need two red, which is just fine with nine red sources. Whew, this deck looks spicy. Yeah, young pyromancer would be really good here. Young peasy, Japanesey. Young peasy, Japanesey. It feels racist, but I can't tell. Oh, hold on. Hold on one second, guys. We're getting a call. Let me actually cancel out of this and uh, let me get this call.
all right so they were they he's like i could be there in like an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes and i'm like oh all right cool can you let me know when you're on your way and he was like i'm, I'm actually on my way right now i live in sarasota which is like it's 45 minutes like south of here 45 minutes to an hour south uh but it's also like 5 30 and it's raining so <laughs> i was like oh my god he lives in sarasota they got a they got a a vendor coming from Sarasota to look at the AC. Maybe so. you'll be able to make that pizza after all. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Oh yeah, it'll have they they've been, they managed to fix it every day they've come. Do you mean like making pizza from scratch? Yeah, I just got some dough and some cheese and some sauce. Hmm. Why? You don't like my frozen pizza? Yeah. Yeah. No, I got a I got some ingredients. I made a bunch of sauce. So. Oh, our point went to five. How many pizzas can you make? Was that my mom? Were you just talking to my mom? Are you really my dad? I can't tell you that. Not until the DNA test comes back. I'd say, how many pizzas can you make? Mm-hmm. Just just one. I'd... Okay. Why? Well, let's just see if I could I could chip chip in. And I have enough sauce. If you want to go grab a dough and some cheese, we can make multiples. Okay. You can get some toppings for yourself if you want. But, yeah, I thought that'd be a better idea than, like, uh, just play some Spider-Man or something. But you got some time, man. No rush. <laughs> All right, well, they're missing land drops here. I'm just going to see Gate Oracle because I don't think... Uh... Frank, don't know if you meant it, but you submitted with 18 lands. Obviously, I meant that. I'm just going to take Thundermall because I feel like the aggression is going to be uh, pretty substantial here. Did I submit with 18 lands? If so, I blame the Magic Online client. client? Yeah, this is just... This game's over. That's unfortunate. I'd rather show them as little as I can, but... I mean, we still gotta win the game, so... Don't give up on your pizza dreams. I would never let my pizza dreams become memes. Wait. My pizza... Huh. I don't think it works like that. I would never let my pizza dreams remain dreams. Got them. Oh, that's probably what we're doing instead. Because this is dealing four extra damage, this is dealing five. But we also get to draw a card, so I'll sub I'll I'll substitute one damage for one card. Yeah, it seems like a good rate. I honestly thought you were a next level drafter. No way, buddy. You got me confused. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I have faith in the pizza, in the, the pizza, in the AC, the AC fixage tonight. I have faith in the pizza. I have faith in the pizza too. What is this, a dark confidant? Watch this, Michael. Are you ready? I'm ready. Two to you, one to this guy. Did you see that? He's also dead now, right? Yes. You know how we killed him? Arc trail. We would have killed him anyway. They could have blocked. Hanging on. Killing your face. Yeah, we do have 18 lands. That's stupid. Magic is stupid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it didn't take the island out when we took the island out, so. I think we... No, we can submit 40. Um, Do we bring in this sword? Pro Black yeah, seems good. That seems good. I really like this one too. Do we take out one for the other though? Ooh. I think so. All right, fine. You guys just wait until A team becomes important, like the Savannah that could have been a Sphinx's rev. I oh my god, I'm so mad about that still. Ooh, this is risky. But we got the opt. I still think it's risky though, because we You're have three. Draw, four, we have three four mana spells that we have to literally hit three lands. To yeah, but we have Magma Jet and opt. I'm almost tempted to keep this because Mike is saying to keep it, and he never... He he chastises me for keeping one land hands. Wait, are you hanging on, on to his face and killing him, or hanging on to his killing... Hanging on to killing his face? What is he saying right now? Monsanser is drunk, isn't he? Maybe this is still a mole. Once you said maybe it's a mole, that's what sold me. I was like, no, now we're going to do it. I knew. I was like, no way, man. We're living this dream. We're halfway, Mike. Oh. That's not a land. 
All right. So one of the top three cards has to be a land. I think we opt in response. Yeah, we do. Force Spike would be nice there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. The nice thing is if they take Magma Jet, we can still Lightning Strike this. And during our upkeep, we can Magma Jet to uh, make sure we hit a land. I think I think everything's coming up Millhouse here. They have to take Magma Jet, right? Because otherwise I'd kill it with the value card. Making Letting me kill it with Magma Jet is just... That's just the sweetness. Yeah, they figured it out. I'm actually going to do this now, because I don't feel like I'm countering it. And then us just never getting back our our spell. Hopefully they play Dark Confidant here. That would be gas. Or Hypnotic Spectre. No Night Veil Spectre. Oh, dang it. Do we still risk it? No, I want to I want to hit a land here. Um, bottom you and top you. Alright, we have not missed a land yet, which is nice. Frank's new jingle. God, I wonder what this is. Sometimes I do so much nonsense on stream that I don't even know. Hanging on, killing your face. Hang I don't even remember saying that. They have four cards, we have five cards. I feel like our hand is good. We could just four it. Do we care about it that much? Probably. The life gain seems relevant when we're trying to burn them out. I would like a another blue, so that way we can Cryptic Command or Thunder Maw Hellkite. Hanging on, burning your face. That is a good song. You guys are not wrong. Do I just steal this? Then they bounce it. Well, if you steal it, you get rid of the... No, never mind. I'm dumb. Nothing Nothing you said works. Not to unequip it, right? To change it, and then it dies. Right, but then they have to play a guy and re-equip it. So that's pretty decent. Right, but they can also just pay three and bounce it next turn. Cyberdrag, thank you so much. Chicken Friday, Sunday, every day. That's accurate. That's true. I'm just gonna play sword here. They got a lot of they got a lot of life linkers here that we were not anticipating. Another pleasant chicken Sunday. I think we also bring in Torch Fiend because of this guy, but what do I know? Oh, that's intriguing. Another pleasant chicken Sunday. They have two cards in hand. I think we just go for this guy. Because if we can equip this guy next turn, it is bonkers. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. We just swing, right? Yeah. Is it worth swinging? Because we can block next turn. Yeah. Maybe we just stay back. Yeah, I'm going to stay back. Because they go to 18, but then they go to 23, and we take four. We take four for them to take one. That doesn't seem like a good... Cool. I mean, this guy is so low value that I actually probably would have exiled it and paid three for it to draw a card and also kill my guy. Because you don't actually care if the token dies. Like, if you have this in your deck, you 100% use it to play Necrotal in this situation. Correct? Yeah, it seems better. Ooh, that's an interesting one. God, Batter Skull is so problematic. Yeah, it's a good card.
bottom. All right. That's nice, because now we got pro-black, which is pretty strong. If you snap Opt-Equip, you can block a little Jeremy all day. Well, it's a good thing we did that. <sighs> Again, this is a situation where I'd much rather have the Arcane Artisan token. Like, you make a 2-2 for 3 mana instead of 5, and you get to draw a card. Like, why even put this in your deck if you're never going to use it on these mediocre creatures that you don't care if they die? That's so weird to me. One, two, three, one, two. So now we can actually... I wish this was in the graveyard. Yeah. Because then we can go shoot, shoot, and then equip. We're still not dead. But, God, I can't... I, I don't understand not using the... I mean, we can still do that. We just don't... Like, we just don't use Snapcast for anything. Right? Yes, but that feels much worse. I think I'd rather just kill this and magma jet it. Okay. Because we don't need to. We don't need to kill both right now. I'd rather just get the magma jet in and have the the equip on. So we're gonna actually do this first in case one of your last cards is like a force spike. Oh, 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 oh! Scry two. Okay, good, 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 good. That was like, oh my god. All right. Um, what do we want to steal? Or we can Dark Dwellers for something. I don't think we need the Dark Dwellers. Really? It's just good value, though. Like, what What would we rather yeah, have? We... I think I want both of these. Put on top. I'm going to actually put this on top so we can steal this guy and try to gain some life next turn. If we survive, I'm just hoping one of your two cards isn't like in, uh, into the Royal. Yeah, they they man, they'd have like three extra cards in hand right now, or two extra cards. Right, and they'd have tokens. But like, if I'm killing this guy anyway, yeah, I guess I could have killed this, and you would have lost these two. But these guys aren't relevant. Like the the damage is already done. Oh, I see what you're doing here. You're getting aggressive. Well, now we're not taking your germ, I guess. Well, that is unfortunate. So we could steal this. Actually, we can control magic this, which seems pretty good. Yeah, that seems pretty nice. They're going to bounce the batter skull, but they can't bounce and replay in the same turn. Unless they hit a land. And it's a 6-9. We can also exile the zealous conscripts. Make us all conscripts. I think we save the Dark Dwellers for when they play Batter Skull so we can for it. I think that's true. I do kind of want to... Oh, we can actually... We're going to play this guy. And then Arc Trail. Um, oh, you're going to counter this. Oh, you're going to bounce the Batter Skull. Sure. Yep, had a feeling. I mean, that was no surprise. Force Spike. It's better than an island at this point. Uh, two to you, one to you. They discard. Unfortunately, it's not random. And now we have uh, Cryptic Command up for the Batter Skull, which is super good. <sighs> Super good. You got it. You got it. Every day is Michael's birthday. Oh, really? Hey, guys, it's Michael's birthday. Say happy birthday to Michael. Oh, this is actually really frustrating. <laughs> That's so frustrating. If we had one more blue here... Which is why we upped the blue count. We could actually go four spike. They either they just wouldn't pay for it. Then we can cryptic command, or we can cryptic command this. Um, 
And then four spiked their batter skull. But we don't have four blue. Oh, shoot. Wait, can't it bounce any permanent? Yes. What if we counter dress, bounce a land? Oh, uh, they just have no response. Oh, yeah, true. I'm going to four spike this because they're probably not going to pay for it, which means they get to keep Cryptic Command. Um, and if they do pay for it, then they can't play Batter Skull, I, I assume. But if they play Batter Skull, we can Zealous Conscripts at this turn and attack with it, which is pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, if they take this, it's it's not ideal, but whatever. Pretty sure they still have to pay for this. Like they have to pay for it. It was a good hit. Wasn't sure if this was round one or not. I'd like to win before the AC guys get here, because that would be super awkward. Oh. Alright, they just let it happen. Wow, that's so dumb. We can actually steal this attack with everything and then bounce it. <laughs> Which is pretty good. I think we're actually still in great shape here. Let's make sure we want to do that. Like, we could just play Dark Dwellers and kill it, too. Yeah, that's also pretty good. And it puts Dark Dwellers on the board. Yeah, we're not worried about being at two against blue-black. blue, blue black. Like, if they want to rebounce it, that's fine. Go ahead, daze me, bro. I like your Jeremy. Also, moving the sword onto this guy is pretty good. And they have to discard another card. Yeah, Sword of Feast and Famine is... <laughs> It's a real thing. Not going to play anything because Cryptic Command. So Could have moved the sword over, which we probably should have done. But I almost like having protection on this guy because we stole it. Yeah, you know what? Oh, actually, they just get to equip this guy. But then we get to steal it? Is that good? Yeah, that's actually fine. I think that's okay, because if they want to actually spend their turn doing that, I'm okay with it. You can also just move the sword in there and get in. They can't block it. It's a menace. <clears throat> what do you say about my menace? If we switch the sword over, they can't even block it. Well, I also, I'd, I'd like to get off of two life is really, really the thing here. So you can play this. Play Jace. Sell us conscripts. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. What the heck is a Kerwit? How do you not know? Also, this is a 5-5. Five, five. I thought this was a 4-4 four, four because I was thinking Batter Skull, but... Nay. Uh, you can actually stay back because yeah, they're going to get back. Yeah. this guy back. And we just want to equip. Oh, we also get to loot here, but I, if we didn't play the... The problem is if we play the land, then... Oh, they also get no cards in it. Wow! It's your boy! Um, One, two... Move you over here just for blocking purposes, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, but like, we're probably going to bounce this guy anyway is really what's going to happen. I don't want to loot here. Thank you. Sarav, thank you so much for the 11 months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Your commitment is real. Just like your commitment to the Demir Guild after you've renounced your... I'm tempted to bounce the batter skull and just block it. We can also just block it anyway. 
They don't gain a life, right? Because it's pro black. Yeah, but this is a blue creature. It's not a germ. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, we can have uh, lightning strike snapback. We could also just bounce the looter, which is probably better because then they just have to replay looter and re-equip. But mm, no, we want to get the, the we want to get the gre the blue creature off the board. If they re-equip, we can't get in there anymore with this guy. So we're gonna block, and then cryptic command, and bounce the batter skull. They can actually bounce their own batter skull in response to prevent us from drawing a card. But let's see if they know that. I guess we hope you didn't hit your own counterspell. Lucky, 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 lucky. <sighs> so lucky. Theoretically, we should not have um, equipped. Well, that does not do it. What can we flash back here? Yeah, just cryptic command, bounce the batter skull. Yeah, that's pretty or good. Or bounce the looter. So four, five, six. They take a they take a lot. Oh, also whatever we bounce, they actually discard. Oh, true. That's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty. That's pretty amazing. Return. So we can just leave the batter skull on the board, right? I think we kind of have. Well, we kind of have to because. Um... No, but then they have to discard the batter skull. Don't we want that? Yes, but they're going to block. They just block with oh, this yeah, guy. True. Oh no, we have menace guy. We put on the menace guy. Yeah. Okay. That works. Oh yes, this is nice. Franklin's Mountains, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Playing your favorite land. How nice. Oh, that's sad. Oh, man. Who drew a Hellrider? Who drew a Hellrider? Oh, we did? Yeah. God, did we just play that? No. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Even if they loot here, they have to discard two cards. So Batter Skull really goes to the goes to the trash can here. Put your B skull into the garbage. Untap my lands, it's what we do. Singing songs about the Southland. Zoobity doop doo. We could also make a copy of Hellrider. We don't have to play it. That's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna draw a card off of it. I want to do it now, though. I don't want to do it now, right? No. I yeah, I want to so. put this on here, though. Because this card, when this card leaves the battlefield, you get rid of the tokens, so I'd rather give it some amount of protection from their... from their good goods. Wow, this game has been great. Opponent got a little, uh... a little unfortunate on the mana in game one, but... I'm just hoping we have enough time to finish this uh, this draft. Dread return on Emrakul. Well, that's fine. You're not casting it. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's fine. I'd say it's a thing. I think you're right. I think it's not fine. Oh. Oh. I got excited. <sighs> I think we have to activate this. Does that do anything? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six. Oh, that's actually lethal. That's perfect. Put this on the menace guy so that if they block here, 
they still take six. They, they either double block here and take six, seven, eight, nine, and then we just, yeah, this is, this is game. Actually, if we attacked with this as well, it would have been without a question, but we got the incendiary flow. So I messed up, but I got... I you never, never punished, so that's good. So they either... They can block both of these and take six and go to one, or they double block here and take six and go to one. Either way, they're taking six. And they would have been at one, but uh, we messed up, so... I hate to break. Sword should have a, an ability where it says one re-equip to some to a different creature. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Like those cards need to be any better. Lucky, 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 lucky. Got them in the brain. Sarah, what are you doing? You are Oh, hold on. We gotta we gotta take our, our 18th land out. Crying out loud. Right? We went with we went with more islands, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think a last game. Last game, it's funny, we forgot to we forgot that and we took out an island because we're like, dang it, it didn't take the island out. So we actually wanted the extra island and we took the mountain out. It's probably why we almost lost. It, the the one island did make a difference. We could have cryptic commanded and then they would have Paid, they would have played their batter skull for five and would have force spiked it. It actually would have one extra island instead of an extra mountain would have changed that game. Not to say we drew the specific mountain that we would have that would have been an island, but you know, we did not do that. I'm keeping this all day, baby. All day, baby. ADB. <laughs> when do you keep this? ADB. If they see you guys shows, we can just teach them how to play magic online.com slash Yu Gi Oh! That's true. We can do that. And he'll be like, son. I don't even know what you're saying. That's I don't know why that's his accent, but he sounds like that. What do you want me to do about it? Is he your dad? Is that why he called you son? No, southern people call everybody son. Or boy. Or buddy. Buddy? Hey, look, a target. Arc Thanks. trail. Hordling. Oh, that's actually good. Ar Hordling outburst. Ooh, I'm going to bottom the cryptic here. Actually. It feels so bad, but we, you got it. Yeah, we need lands. Listen, buddy. Listen. Listen. Okay. Listen, right. buddy. Listen to me. I'm listening. I need you to really hear me right now, buddy. Well, the problem with this is if we draw a land, it doesn't do much. If we draw a land, it goes to control magic if they play something good, but I don't know. Against the green deck, I really don't want to be... Oh, maybe it's an or is it an uh, Oracle of Mold? Is a... And how do we get a thrun? I don't know, man. I guess we just float over boy or overhead. Also, we have infinite blockers with Dark Dwellers and Hardling Outburst. That's Buddy, true. magic players are like the Sith. They only deal in absolutes. You're 100% Druid Mountain. That was supposed to be an island. 100%. I wish that was I wish that was incorrect. Buddy, listen. Listen here, butter boy. Butter boy, buddy. Butter boy, buddy. Butter boy, buddy. Is that your little butter boy, buddy? <laughs> I'll be your butter boy, buddy. <laughs> no, I wish you wouldn't. It's too late. I'm already that. It looks like it wants to rain really bad, but it's like, it's like, yeah, I can wait. Ben Stark, someone that he wishes they wouldn't print hexproof. Yeah, a lot of pros wish they wouldn't print hexproof because hexproof is an unfun interact. It's an uninteractive mechanic. Um, that lets you get incremental advantage from it, right? Like, Shroud is one thing because it was even. God. Stealing it and killing it does nothing. Wow, and they have Guy's Cradle out. Yeah. I think we just have to kill it still. I can't trust it. Like, because if they choose to pay it, like, it's pretty bad. Love your stream. Well, you know what they say. Too nice to see a father spending some quality stream time with his son, Bucks. Wow. 
I'm always like, if you appreciate the stream, you wouldn't be playing these good cards against me. You understand? Do you understand? Man, I really wish we had a land there. Me too! You could actually race pretty reasonably. Yeah, because five damage a turn is no joke. Same That's thing a with the aggressive attack there. Oh, they have a guy's cradle. If they wanna if they wanna block, knock knock themselves out. I just meant because we're gonna take a bunch back. You're gonna take a bunch back. Oh, don't wasteland this bro. Oh, we're dead. We're super dead. We got a big fan. We got a big fan. Big fan has been called. Oh, crying out loud. Okay, that's not impressive. Oh, hold on. We're still doing other things. Is this a matchup where we bring in... Do we have Anger of the Gods on our sideboard? No. Fascinating. Fascinating. This might be a Worm Coil Engine matchup. This definitely feels like a Worm Coil Engine matchup. Oh, another land. All right. Yeah, hold on. Blue land I'll, give it, I'll give it one more shot. Okay. <laughs> Well, the old loot concede. God, it's, wasteland almost makes me not want to play lands because getting wasteland is so busted. Sword of Feast and Famine seems good here too. So does Wormcoil. Bring that boy in. I don't know if I'm a control magic fan, but I have to assume they have big creatures in there somewhere. But I don't know if it's worth it. I like to just sit in our hand and not do anything if they don't. Yeah. It's rain in Newport Ritchie. That's barely English, Roberto. I'm going to play first. It's also raining in the south, too. I feel like we're in this weird pocket of no rain. I'll keep this hand. Really? I mean, uh, yeah. Like, it just does nothing. Neither do you. Got him. Got yeah, got but him. you don't win the game with me. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> got him. Knew we were gonna draw in. The point is, it kills an early thing, and we have a sword, uh, which is very, very good against them. But we also like we can play anything we draw, which is nice. Like we have two lands, or we have a bunch of lands, but like I don't want to go to like three land, three spell, and just hope we hit that. So, see, so, yeah, I would just play the sword. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wait a minute, mana tithe. I always, I always expect them to get us. Where's the Gotham clip from? It's from Filthy Frank on YouTube. Although it's known as Joji. It's Filthy Frank, mother trucker. I thought the deck was wide! That's a solid meme there. How'd you rate that meme? It's probably a 7 out of 10. It's a good one. You What about you? I'd probably give it probably an eight. Eight? That's high, yeah, man. I like it, yeah. I like it. I like it, yeah. I like it, you see. It's one of my favorite memes. I think it's opt here. And we can play the opt. And we already have a similar uh, lightning strike-esque card. You thought the what was wide? I thought the deck was white. Come on. Sorry, learn how to internet, okay? I don't, I don't. The Lucky Clip is one of my favorites as well. I liked that when I played against someone the other day. They typed Lucky, 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 Lucky into the chat, and I about lost it. Mike, honesty stream, have you talked to any jalapeno children lately? Not lately. When was the last time you'd say you talked to them? It's been years. That's so sad. Do we save this in case we draw a towel around? Mm, maybe. We don't really need to opt, right? Like, They don't have any pressure on us. And they can't also... They also can't block this guy. They're going to kill it in response. Be oh, wow. Oh, my God. They're just going to kill the sword. Path to exile. Yeah, they're just going to kill... Yeah. Oh, God. We could opt. 
What do we hit? We that? don't have any two man counter spells though, so never mind. Yeah, we only have like four spike in the deck. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I'll get a three three. <sighs> this is our trump card. Our Donald Trump card. Why don't they block? No idea. It's got hexproof, man. Maybe they forgot that. It's forgot about the hexproof? Maybe. No one puts baby in the corner. Here's your baby. Why is it in the corner? You don't know what that's from? No, just making a meme. Now I've had the time of my life. You know, that's a little, uh, you know, uh, little uh, dirty dancing. Never felt this way before. I thought the deck was white. I want to top deck a Thunder My Hellkite so I can draw a card off this. And so I can just windmill slam kill that Nissa. I think we're going to op now. I need to draw something good in the neighborhood. Saval's a 2 3, right? Bottom. Oh, a chicken. Saval's a 2 3, yes. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! And we yes, get to draw ha, a card. Ha, 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 ha. I'm sorry, I got excited. What do you want from me, brah? Ha ha. Yes. Give me that crad. <laughs> the extra crads. Uh, go at Nissa. Go at your face. Yes. So I have two cards in hand. And they have to play something bigger than a 5-5 five five in order to draw off Savala. He's too young to know that. What? Wait, what's going on? Oh, Dirty Dancing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's only in, the, he's only in his teens still, so he wouldn't know about wow. that. Mike's going to turn 17 this year. <laughs> oh, man. They grow up so fast, you know? They grow up so fast. I remember when you were knee-high to a grasshopper. No, you don't. <laughs> Didn't play Phoenix. What are you saying right now? Are you talking about Phoenix, the P-H-E-N-E-X? The, uh, the blue-black god? Mike's actually like 30, so it's pretty comical whenever, whenever someone's like, I thought you guys were father and son. I mean, I ain't 30 yet. Yeah, but you're close. He's your son. No, dude. We don't look the same. We don't have the same last names. And we don't even like... We're like less than 10 years apart in age. I don't know that. You can't find out your birth your your birth date. I'll never tell. Oh, yeah. That's not going to do it for you. Man, our hand is very good right now. Do we want to kill any of these things? Probably. What do they do? They add mana. Who cares? Well, I don't like this because like it it does add two mana right now, and it also. Uh, so you want to waste two cards on it? It's whenever you cast. Remember, creature enters the battlefield. No, you just lightning helix, lightning strike. It's a two three. Oh right. For some reason I thought I had four butts. Four butts. Chicken, strike them. Chicken, strike them. I mean, I think we can wait until they try to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They already have 7 mana. Last turn they had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They had 8 mana last turn and they didn't do anything. I do worry that they have Tooth and Nail. And they're going to go land Tooth and Nail. If we kill all, they can't do that. That's correct. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think we got to do that. Yeah, I like that. We also have lethal on board, just so we're clear. Oh yeah, we got nine nine in the air, which is why I want to make sure they don't do anything that could change the game. Well, it's not lethal with this, but I guess it is with this. So the only thing we don't want to see is like Hornet Queen here. Yeah, but then we got that Arc Trail, bro. Got that Arc Trail money. That does not deal with all the Hornets. Yeah, you're right. 
So they can do this for five? Ooh, that's pretty bad. But we do get our chicken back. Doesn't that kill all their stuff too? Yes. Okay. Fashion relief. Only that was a disallow. Get in there with these guys. Four, five. Oh, we could have actually... No, we didn't have the mana for it. I was going to say we could have killed this, so that would have forced them to use it last turn. Search artifact creature and enchantment. I wish this was a disallow. Yeah, I agree. That would be gas. Well, then we get chicken. Beautiful chicken. Play Jace, Lou, Dissolve. Boy, they have one card. I'm game. You could also see magma jetting for value. Don't kill my elemental. It also speeds up our clock a turn. Well, not if they have Assuming our... They actually don't have another white source for shambling vent, though, which is pretty amazing. Do not care about that guy. I really don't. I am going to actually magma jet. I don't think I'm going to be afraid of any creature they play. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So they're just dead. Bottom. Top. Oh, yeah, they're dead. Got them. We could even Jace if we wanted to. We can Jace if we want to. We can Jace our friends behind. You're going to Jace your friends behind? Yeah. That sounds real perverted. Wow, they didn't even... They're like, you know what? I know you got it. I'll just scoop. I guess we're fine. God, I wish I had an answer for Thrun. That card just like... Stupid. Not fun. Yeah, stupid is what I'd say. Stupid is what I'd say. Perfect fits. What's going on, buddy? Glad you think so. Stupid's what I'd say. You know what I'm saying? Arcane Artisan for surprise blocks? Um, we don't have many creatures, though. It's a problem. I guess Arcane Artisan... What do you have to do when it dies? Do you sacrifice the token? Exile it. Oh, that's unfortunate. If you sacrifice it, that'd be great, because then you can still get the Worm Boys. You can get the Worm Boys. This hand seems awesome. I'm on board. We can get them. Oh, we'll get them. Well, maybe not, because we're on the draw. They still play on oh, curve. Oh, we can get them. We don't have to get them on turn one. But what if we do get them with that? Well, then we do, but... Play your two drop. Do we care about their two drop? Wouldn't we rather counter the throne? If this is just a dude, I'm not going to... I don't really care. We can't counter throne. I know, that was a joke. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, otherwise... Oh, thoughtsies. Wow. What fun are you, man? Yeah, have your thoughtsies. And they played around it. God. That's fun. Should force bike him just for... Just to make him do it. No. Okay. I'll never do that. Now they can just play around it all game. What if you opt in response, actually? What does that do? Then they just... Then they take it... They have another card. Like, if we have a good card, then they just take the good card. That's true. Weird had to re reload like ten times. Oh, Twitchy. Oh, Twitchy. Oh, Twitchy. Really? They took the chicken. They took my chicken... That just means they have, uh, I'm actually going to opt here. Yeah, I want that. That just means they have Thrun, and they want to make sure they're able to race efficiently. Ooh, this is awkward. Do you play Hortley Adverse? Leo Dissolve. We'll see. Fauna sure. Okay. You got it. Ain't nobody care about that. They know about Dissolve. Yeah. But Hordling Outburst doesn't do anything here anyway, so... Yeah, they have a 2-2. Plus, next turn, at worst, we can play Hordling Outburst and keep up four spikes, so... Opt to what, Frank? What are you opting to do? Oh, man, someone literally... Jeff Foster, my friend Jeff on Facebook, literally just said, Man, how cool would it have been if the World Championship draft format was Ravnica the week before pre-release?
Like, yeah, literally just suggested that. Kind of unbelievable. It just makes us, like, what are you watching for? It's a dead format. Dominaria, no less. Like, if it was Cube, if it was Legacy Cube, I'd be more interested. Um... Think we counter it? They have three cards in hand, though. Not what? Did I click on that? Yeah, you did. Oh my god. Well, we got it out of our hand, guys. <laughs> yeah, they won't see the next one coming. No, well, they still will. I wouldn't even play that. Why? Because we get way slammed. Fine. Ugh, God. So cringe. I mean, this isn't the worst creature they could have, I guess. I don't know. I didn't care about it. I just wanted to get the Dissolve out of the hand and try to scry so we could actually get some action on the board. Is this game 2 or game 3? It's game 2, right? Or did we get crushed game 1? I actually don't know. No, we won game 1. Was that game 1? I think so. Okay. I could have swore. I mean, if you check my YouTube, I've actually done like 60 Dominaria drafts. So the last thing I care about is them playing like two threes and three twos for three mana. Like, it's just not exciting. Like, I almost feel like magic coverage sometimes is like your grandparents figuring out the... F they're like, let's... What do you want to watch, little Jimmy? You want to watch the kids love the Dominaria drafts? Let's play some Dominaria drafts for them. Uh, I don't care about this. But Grandpa, Dominaria is uh, about six months old now. No we one... had the wasteland. Called it. No one really cares about Dominaria now. Well, you know, you, you, we don't know. It's hard to stay current and let your kids enjoy, you know? You didn't, know. Yeah, didn't we lose game one to Thrun? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was game two. That we just won. Well, then this is bad news. Especially when that happens. Oh, boy. Well, none of these guys are have the biggest power. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six mana. Just Primeval Titan. Is it any color? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a big ass wolf. I feel like we're way behind, but they don't have a ton of cards. I'll watch you from the back. <laughs> you know, Fitz, I actually uh, don't feel like that's out of the question. Guys, my office had Chipotle cater for lunch today, and now I have meat sweats, but it was totally worth it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, usually one Chipotle burrito is enough for the meat sweats. Yikes. That's yeah, pretty good. Enjoy your card. Can I get a Hellkite or a... Uh, what's a 4-toughness thing we got? I think that's it. It's not it. engine. No, that's not... Well, did we take that guy out? Yeah, we did. We took him out? No, we boarded him in. No. Oh. Well, the cat can't be recording because... Lucky, 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 lucky. The cat can't be recording because she's not a she, it's a he. So. Oh, and we get to draw a card? My god. What a day. What a glorious day! I mean, they get to kill it, but we get two, two bros out of it. Also, if they kill it... Oh, this guy becomes a 4-4 four, four, not a 3-3. Three, three. Dang. Oh, this is pretty good. We got Horling Outburst in there. We got a Dissolve. Ooh! Alright. We got a game. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. I like how we played around this wasteland all game. Oh, wormy. Worm city.
Also, this guy is easily the largest creature on board. I was hoping that when the worms came into play, this guy would be a 2-2 so that they would draw us cards, but um, this guy becomes a 4-4. Four, four. So... You know, like you do. Lucky. He's so lucky. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. I got a big old worm coil with your name on it. Which is at least two tiny gentlemen. Alright, let's... I don't care anymore. Wow, any actual Mexican restaurants better than Chipotle? I agree with Mexican restaurants being better than Chipotle, but Chipotle is still very good. They got that cheese. I really like their cheese. I like their sour cream a lot, actually. So this is going to cost five, six, seven. We can actually do everything here. That's pretty nice. What even is a Poncheros? It's a Mexican grill. It's a Mexican grill. Hey, a Poncheros, a Mexican grill. I never heard of that. It's never heard of you either. Suck it's on probably those true. You just attack here? There's no point, really. They're just going to kill it. But I guess that's... I guess, alternatively, they could triple block here. We don't need the six life. That's fine. They could triple block and then kill one of the tokens. Moe's better than Chipotle? I don't agree with that. I do like that they have to pay five here. I wonder when the AC guys are going to get here. I'm probably going to have to uh, stop the video after this because uh, they have to to work on the AC. They have to come in here in this room because the AC is above my my ceiling. So also, this makes a lot of mana. No, it doesn't. It's greatest power, not the number of creatures. It's not guys' cradle. Actual quote from my mom. What's the name of that Mexican restaurant with the burritos? Wow, mom, you're really narrowing it down here. As someone who eats very little meat, I had a very hard time on keto. Yeah, I was keto like, is very meat for. I guess it's mono cheese and lettuce for me. I ate a lot of ranch dressing and cheese, but I mean, it didn't feel very healthy. And eggs. Is the AC guy replacing your big fan? I I, heard, I did hear you. I was just like. It's low hanging fruit, buddy. Down 60 pounds? Chipotle is a good keto restaurant, though. Yeah, you can very easily get keto keto friendly stuff at Chipotle thanks to bowls. You need smoking bowls? Yeah, man, smoking bowls. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I want to dissolve that. Putting counters on your things is pretty nonsense here. Can we talk about the value of Snapcaster Mage in Magic the Gathering? Okay. It's high. Okay. But excuse me while I counter your Nissa. Burst Lightning. What do we use that for? I don't know. I don't think anything. We, kill, we kill the Wicker Barber. Yeah, but then in response, they just kill a Worm Coil. True. I don't think I care about that. It just doesn't do anything. I'm hoping for, like... Hellrider or maybe not Hellrider, probably just Thundermaw Hellkite at this point. You know, discard. Oh, you're just gonna kill my Wormy. Oh, also we get to activate Jace next turn, which is pretty strong. I know plenty of people that have done keto for a long time and had great results on it. And unfortunately, neither of these guys are large. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> I think the only problem pe people have with keto is they start losing weight from keto, and then they get to the point where they have to attract the calories anyway from keto, and don't do that. Some pernicious deed. Oh, Vivian Reed. That's very good. I would have rather counted that, but that's a good one. Doesn't mm. kill any of our stuff though. Oh wait, yeah, it does. It kills worm coils, but I mean that's not a huge deal. If they want a negative three to kill a worm coil, that's fine. I'm pretty sure you just plus here to draw. Oh, fascinating. Attack with four four. No. Thunderball. That's pretty nice, because we can actually tap everything down, kill Vivian Reed. 
Huh. I almost don't want to flip Jace here because I don't want Jace to die. Why would Jace die? Because they would attack Jace next turn when we when we had Alpha to kill Vivian Reed. I'm we sure. We don't have to Alpha, but I also like just keep. Oh God, keeping Cryptic Command up is very good. I really need to get rid of Vivian Reed. Is the problem. We could loot and hope. You have to transform him, or can you choose? No, you have to. Okay. We could also loot and play Hordling Outburst this turn. Which is actually a lot of damage next turn. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that, and if you choose to kill... Uh, no, that's going to go face... You're going to go face, you're going to go face, you're going to go face, you're going to go Vivian Reed. This is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is actually 9 damage to the face. And if they try to kill Jace, then it's actually... Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Getting rid of... You. Get Hordling Outburst. Still no. Alright, we're still good on the gentleman. In case they have a discard spell, I'm just going to keep this in hand. I don't know what discard they'd have for one, but for only one card. Maybe we should have played it because the more likely discard is two cards, but... <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine damage. With just Hellrider. It's pretty good. All right, I feel like they're going to pernicious deed for two kill all of our things and keep these guys around that's pretty good well I don't know what they're playing but it's pretty big oh we're dead oh my God. of course the literal turn after we play cryptic command sure <laughs> oh, never fails Maybe we should just hold the Cryptic Command because they have the literal one card that actually kills us on the spot. No, why not? What can that do? <sighs> do we just play the last match? I don't know. Whatever. We'll try it. It does ruin the... It ruins the video and the thing if we have to stop, though. True. I don't know how far... I don't know what their ETA is. What, what time do they call? They said an hour and a half. Which is probably based on GPS. So let me just check real quick. 5.34? We should have about a half an hour, theoretically. Alright. We'll give it a go. Worst case scenario. They get here. And we have to sacrifice the match, unfortunately. But such is life. Boy, is it getting hotter. <laughs> The Nature's Little Diet is more of a word-of-mouth type movement. Ideally, it should just occur to you in the flash of inspiration after one night stand with a friend and sex while you're vomiting into the drawer of the bedside. What even happened? What did I just miss? One one more match. Limited edition. Thank you so much. That would uh, that'll definitely pay for another, another draft, so I appreciate that. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. What happens after 30 minutes? Uh, the AC, the guys coming to fix our AC is on the way here, and they said they would be here soon. Um, they said it would take them about an hour and a half, and that was about 5.35, so it's, we're about an hour right now. So, we'll see. Yes. Uh, keep. <laughs> what up, what up, Rack, about what? What are you laughing at? The big fan man cometh. The big fan man cometh. The things you have to do for diets. You are right. You are correct. It's getting a little toasty in here. Come on, Joku. You can do it.
You boys playing some Magic the Gathering in here? Are you guys playing with your demon cards? Yes, Grandma. We're summoning the devil. Okay, well you guys have a good time. Tell Jesus I said hi. The mashed potatoes will be ready soon. I don't... Hey, look, a thing we can kill. Yeah, you're right. With Arc Trail. No less. That's a card you didn't like. They're going to intentionally get there on 7.30, stay there till 9, and then try to have dinner. Yeah, that's fine. If they can fix my AC, they're welcome to dinner. This O1 chump. Think I like it better when it's dead. I think I like it better in the in the garbage can. That's all the grandma remembers how to make mashed potatoes. Grandma, what's for dinner tonight? Oh, mashed potatoes again. You that's know, it. I just have all these potatoes. Okay, grandma, that's weird, but whatever, I guess. Oh, I boil like... them, mash them, put them in a stew. Are they not even gonna? Oh, that was like, are they not even gonna represent for Spike here? Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Oh, I can see the driveway from here, so they're definitely not doing that. That would be weird if they were. I would be creeped out. I can send my dad. He knows AC. Yeah, sure. Send your dad. See if they get here before the other guys. I don't like three lands in a zealous conscripts, but... No. It's not good. Let me make you boys some mashed potato sandwiches. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Oh, God. I put a little grandma's gravy on it if you like that. No, that is a little better. Depends on what Grandma's gravy is, I guess. What if it's tomato sauce? <laughs> no. <laughs> Have some more sloppy joes! Oh, I see. Sloppy joe, a slop, a sloppy joe. Here's what I hope. I hope they hit Thunder My Hellkite. We steal this, negative five it, Oh, they didn't get anything? Oh, that's actually fine. We negative five it, we get Thunder My Hellkite, and we get the Zealous Conscripts. That would be good. I still think we can steal this and... Yeah, that's fine. We're still going to take this and eat it. Sloppy Joes! Do we think they have Force Spike? Yeah, we just do. Just do it. Come on, we'll concede. Don't say you're not gonna do it. No, they're not gonna do it. You can't just minus X, right? Yeah, you can. Put a creature... Yeah, because it doesn't actually... Uh, it doesn't require you to have a creature. You just put a creature with that cost. Okay. Zealous conscripts killing Ashiok since 19 dickety 2 And next time, I like we have enough mana to cast Hellrider and to put a Sword of Feast and Famine on a Gentleman. Lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> Have some more sloppy joes. We're going to get demonetized because of that Billy Madison reference. It's so easy to get demonetized, man. I feel like if you breathe wrong, you get demonetized. It's really true. They like I used a six-second snippet of the Larry David Curb Your Enthusiasm song, and they're like, demonetized. And I'm like, really? I'm, not, I'm clearly not profiting off of this song, right? It's not like I made money because the song was in the video. It, I... I think it's just it's just it, it's against the spirit of the of the copyright. I think, like the spirit of the copyright is, I am not reposting the song and getting money off people just watching the song. They're coming to the video for me or for the magic or whatever, and then there happens to be a six second snippet of a song that kind of enhances the quality minimally, and that's why I'm getting demonetized. And it's just really stupid. Which is why I think the thirty second rule should be a thing. It's actually not a thing. It's a just a YouTube myth. But it should be a thing where, like, if it's under 30 seconds, you should be free to use it because you're clearly not making that the focus of your video. All right. Well, they don't know we have Hellrider, I guess. Or they just make a beast and then they block. That seems good, too. Old Man River, we're going to get paid. You feel me? Also, I feel like Old Man River should be way past its copyright expiration. Unless People can like, just rebuy it, though, right? Yeah, they're so just like, all right, keep renewing it. Old Man River. What's going on? Just either untap or make a guy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to beat the AC man here, guys. 
Right, they should demonetize the percentage of the video. Like, if it's a three-hour-long video and I use it for six seconds, demonetize 0.7% of it. That's fine. I accept that. But, like, you know, otherwise it's dumb. Otherwise you're being a big dumb-dumb. Sloppy Joe, or I'll hit you again. <laughs> Are you asking me to sloppy Joe? I don't even know <laughs> what that means. Is that a verb? I'm going to need you to sloppy Joe me right now. That sounds terrible. Old Man River does still need money, so he can spend something at the corner store. Oh, God, what are they going to hit? Oh, Jesus. Do you like how good our Arc Trail will be right now? Snapcaster into Arc Trail gets rid of both these dudes. Now we get to equip and attack. Or Mountain. That's also just as good. Actually, hold on. This is... Oh, we can redirect to this boy? All right, sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're just going to put a... Going to sword this boy up. Sloppy Joes! <laughs> they could go block here, double block here. No, that wouldn't do it. So, so we are going to go face and face. Face is the place for the helpful hardware. Uh, okay. Choose. Wait, what? Oh, to, you had to attack the planeswalker. To player or planeswalker, it's attacking. Well, why do I want that? I don't want to attack the planeswalker. I'm also dealing the damage to it. Then it just goes nowhere. You know, this is significantly going to change the game. Going to change the game. I guess we could have went one here, but... Oh, mother of sp spigots. That's stupid. Connor Ryan, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. It's my birthday. It's actually Mike B's birthday today, guys. Say happy birthday to Mike B. It's not. Say happy birthday to him. He loves it. Everybody say happy birthday to Mike B. If you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to ha say happy mm -hmm. birthday to Mike B. All I did was look for the word planeswalker. I had really selective vision there. I was like, ooh, selective vision. Happy 17th birthday, buddy. God, they grow up so fast. Oh, another Garrick. I see. <laughs> oh, man. Do you just make two beasts? No, you make one beast because you untapped with this, I guess. Did you overpay? Did you make a blue that you didn't have to make? Come on. Amateur hour here. Wow, really? You're attacking with this guy? What? So if I get like a control magic to steal this, I get to just go ham on you? That's also pretty good. No, oh my god. I almost equipped my guy. So I think we kill this big Garrick first, right? Yeah. No, wait. We kill... We actually... It, we, yeah, we just attack here and kill this one, right? Because if we just shoot this and attack, this guy just lives. Well, we can attack the big Garouk for five, right? Right. That's what I mean. So we get to kill the, the big Garouk. We can also just attack their face and put them to three? Is that good? That seems better, right? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, man. Because we get a lot of cards we can draw that just kill them on the spot. That's not one of them, but... <sighs> that was risky, but... Putting them to three is pretty huge. Also, we've only had five spells this entire game. Incendiary Flame kills them. Snapcaster kills them. Cryptic Command presumably kills them if we can tap their board. Treachery, they can't they can't target treachery or control magic on this guy. They could copy it with like fan they can copy it like with image, but then they, they can't tap this guy down. Both of these are blue, so they can't can't block it with either one of these. I wonder if they're trying to tap this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, alright. So you have to Oh, do you draw six here? That seems good, but like it doesn't do anything. 
yeah. gives them a pretty good untap. They have to survive first. All right, here we go. All right, still no AC, man. Seems good. Especially because we're only in game one. God, why are they taking so long? They've taken five more minutes than us. I'm just trying to... I'm, I was trying to play a fast game, and now they're just like, oh, I have one mana. What do I want to do? Well, they're not dead on board. They can make a beast here. They haven't activated this Garrick yet. Oh. Fascinating. Do you have a way to kill my sword? Do you have a beast within? No. Green wall. Okay. Thunder my Hellkite one time. <laughs> Thunder my Hellkite's lethal. Incendiary Flame is lethal. Um, Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage is lethal. Cryptic Command is lethal. Mountain. Um, actually not lethal. Well, we're just going to keep on killing. <laughs> Here I go killing again. <laughs> oh, man. That's unfortunate. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands to five spells. It's a good ratio. Yep, and they have six cards in hand, so. <sighs> Pretty sure another spell of ours is just not resolving. Oh, Exquisite Firecraft is also lethal. You also can't counter that, right? Yeah, which is pretty gas. I mean, them not being able to deal with Zealous Conscripts with the Sword of Fire and Ice is pretty strong. No, they technically don't need to deal with it right now. Right, but they have to deal with it at some point. Maybe not, maybe never. Like, we just take 8 here, right? And uh, it's pretty good. That Ulamog looking a bit smarter now. Yeah, you're right. You gonna tap down my spot, my Sulphur Falls again? I'll tap down your regular island so that you can't Cryptic Command me in If I had Cryptic Command, you'd already be dead. Uh, we did. Banefire is not in the main deck. Maybe it should be, though. Hmm. Here comes an Avenger of Zendikar. You want to get in my Zendikar? No. Yeah, you do. Oh, they made two Beast Tokens. Sure. They have five cards in hand. Come on, Exquisite Firecraft, one time. It's not bad. But I have to assume they have infinite counter spells, right? It's possible. Just gonna pass here. The oh my god, hopefully they do some nonsense here. Your blue. Come on. Come on, buddy. Mm. If they use a cryptic command here, oh boy. They're just not gonna do anything. Venser. And they still have cryptic command up. We have to go for it now because they just kill us otherwise, right? Right. Well, here we go. Hope you don't have Venser and Cryptic Command in hand. If you had Cryptic Command, I assume you would counter the Snapcaster, but what do I know? Come on, buddy. We could pay for a lot of counter spells. <sighs> of course you have it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep. Seems good. I guess Banefire comes in? Does it really need to? Like, I mean, that was just a really weird corner case where you drew yeah. lands. I think it's true. I think this sword is probably good. Oh, once again. Board in every game because everyone's playing green. I'm just going to submit like this.
Yeah. I mean, if we could have drawn any spell between, you know, all the cards we drew with uh, Sword of Fire and Ice and uh, not drawing our 11th and 12th land, I, I mean, I feel like we would have been better shaped there, but... We could have also... Banefire doesn't seem relevant. Banefire was relevant in that one single game, but, like, that's the only reason, because we got them to three and we want to be able to Banefire them. Like, in ordinary situations, it's not really going to happen. It does kill Planeswalkers. Yeah, it's true, but, I mean, like, it costs six mana to kill, like, a Garrick or, like, a... Another Garrick, right? Like, it costs a lot of mana. I mean, we have a lot of other cards that do the same thing. <laughs> Matthew, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, those kids are having a good time. Ugh. Come on, dude. My, my AC dude's going to be here, and you're just going to win. Yeah, you can't counter it, but, like, whatever. They can still venture it. All right, I think we did it. Yes. You know what? This is fine. Any land in this is hand is good. You'll get them next game bits. Limited sedition. Thank you so much for the another donation or another another bit bit nation. Bit nation. Bit nation, y'all. That's where I was born. No, you were born in a trash can. Yeah, the bit nation trash can. Oh, that's right. Sulfur Falls. Mountain? You know what? I'll take it with this hand. Oh, this is round three, isn't it? Yeah, so we get to. Sylvan Radical Mystic. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, search for Esconta. Less threatening. Was Mike be born on Sesame Street? Do I just want to resolve this? It's pretty good. Yeah, I think I just want to resolve this now. I don't want them to untap into, like... I feel like if we can get that on a chicken, this game is just over. Get it on your chicken. The game ended because he had a sword on his chicken. Beautiful chicken. They're also, they've taken eight minutes longer than we have, just to be... Uh, just no, to there's be. a lot of things they have to do. <laughs> yeah, we don't have anything to do. We just draw... Uh... Is your dad Oscar the Grouch? Is that mm -hmm. your trash can, Daddy? Yeah. Here comes the uh, reclamation stage. <coughs> actually felt that go down the wrong pipe uh, it's not pleasant I'm basically dying <coughs> sorry guys come on man play your card <coughs> god <coughs> yeah breathing in liquids isn't a good idea oof What could this be? Nothing I care about. Den Protector. It's just a Radical Mystic. Strat oh, it's probably Radical Mystic. Yeah, you're right. Then they're going to play a Frost Titan. I literally was thinking they're going to flip it up play Frost Titan. Well, you have a sword. <clears throat> it's like another turn. We take like 12. We're probably just dead. We don't have a second blue to dissolve. We probably are just dead. Don't die. It's too late. Death is imminent. <clears throat> it's too late. I'm dead, it's too late. No, he really did try not to die, yeah. Oh, man. <coughs> well, those AC guys are not here yet, so that's good. They go 1, 2, flip. They add 3 mana, so 3, 4, 5. They tap it for a, another blue. And then they third fourth turn Frost Titan. <laughs> Disgusting. Sorry about my coughing, guys. Here we go. One, two. Double green to flip. Nope. Okay. Change your mind. Okay. Ready? Paying costs. One, two. One, two to flip. One, two to flip. There we go. We did it. We figured it out. Okay. <coughs> Add three. Oh my god, why is this so... Just let it resolve. You just gotta hit okay. 
And then it resolves. Does it say they were double double queuing or something? You're going to respond to this? Okay. <clears throat> they figured it out finally. All right. We did it. Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. This is something. We use double the clock we have. All right. You got three mana now. What's happening? Now tap the rest of your mouth. Oh, mana. boy. Play your stupid titan. Today, Junior? This is what you use two of your mana for? I was worried about Frost Titan, and this is what you're using it for? Hope you're on Arc Trail. <coughs> Absolute bloody murder. Remember when Mike was like, yeah, I don't know about Arc Trail. Now he's like on board for real. Well, in this situation, I'm sure. In a lot of situations... All right, or we can hit a land and then go uh, Seagit Oracle equip. Seems good. We did it. Okay, they can't have Venser now. <clears throat> Why not? Oh, let's actually put this oh, yeah, down first. Can't. Because they only have three mana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, don't we just get to attack and kill one of their things? Yep. Oh boy. What do you kill here? Channeler initiate. Uh, sure. This makes any mana. This makes... This guy gets bigger is my issue. Yeah, it probably makes more sense to kill him. <coughs> wow. I think we're just keeping up Dissolve now. Yeah, that seems better. I ain't see Gate Oracle here. We just win this game if we get a we get Phoenix online. Pretty quick clock. Why even flip it? You just you went to you passed with two man up. This is just a more sensitive guy. It's a two one instead of a two two. You could have just actually played Channeler with two mana and used just and just left the two mana up. I don't understand. Why didn't they just have two mana to cast the guy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah, it's like my turn ends and they're like, oh, oh, right, I get a turn again. I totally forgot. I wasn't I wasn't ready for this. I hate that we lost first round because that was gonna be game three if we win, but. That's life, you know what I mean? I like doing attack when the mana guys. That's me too. I'm just like, alright, that's the best you got. So. Jundum and Bundum. Jundum and Bundum. That's the law office of the Orcat. What is this you're doing here? It's never gonna happen. Five mana? What the? Five mana instant? What the Gronk? I don't actually know what this is. I have uh, no idea what this is. Mystical, whatever. Mystical Con the, the I don't think Mystic, Mystic Confluence isn't Confluence, in here. Yeah. I would have seen it at least once. You don't know that? I've done like 30 drafts. I feel like I would oh, have maybe, seen Mystic maybe Confluence. 30 is a lot. <clears throat> but I mean, it doesn't make sense. It feels like they're picking their modes now. But I have literally no idea what this could be. He was just trying to annoy us with the clock. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. <clears throat> no, we really did try to make it. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, try again. Oh my god. Three men. <clears throat> Primeval no. Command? Well, it's Primal Command, and it's also 5 mana, and it's a sorcery, not an instant, so... <clears throat> yep, just gonna kill this guy now. Well, that's a good dude. <clears throat> Are they just dead? Pretty much. Dismiss? I mean, I'll, I'll just let you dismiss it. Sure. Doug Exeter, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Came for the Flaming Sword Chicken today for the OP Slow Rolls. Thanks for the... Any time, buddy. Thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Yeah, you can have that. They put a card on top. Card on top. Better be a good one. Maybe they're new to Magic Online. Maybe, but I mean, like... New, being new to Magic Online doesn't mean you play this, untap it, and then just play Channeler Initiate wasting one mana. That just doesn't make any sense. Like, being new to Magic Online doesn't stop you from knowing how to count. Or play sorceries at instant speed. 
<clears throat> I feel like whatever five they have now is what they were trying to do last turn, but they were unable to. No, she were dead. I would 100% go to the horse ranch if I were you, Matthew. Or you. That maybe, sounds like... uh, maybe they're ghosting and they're trying to, to, to grind out the clock so we have to go because of the AC guy. Wow, that's really... If that if you're going to go to so that deep. degree yeah. to win a cube match, like you are absolutely a pathetic piece of garbage if that's the case. That would be comic. I highly doubt it, but in the back of my mind, it's just a slight... Like that's chance. a comical level of scumbaggery. Yeah, no, I agree with you. No. You're dead. I agree that that would happen, not that that would, uh, that that is happening, rather. Mm, bottom. Okay. Well, you're dead now. Game three. Okay. That was a, a fast concession, so I'll give them, <clears throat> I'll give them credit for that. I think we should leave it as is. Yeah, I think so, too. We haven't seen Talrand once. Uncle Tally. Also known as... No, that's actually it. I was like, does he have another name? That's amazing. Oh my god, I'm crying right now. I'm crying from boredom. Yeah, right. If you're if you're just starting in Magic, uh, Magic Online not only is not a great platform for you, you probably want to steer more towards Arena, I bet. And also, Legacy Cube is not really. Also, their deck doesn't seem like a. I just started playing Magic deck. Yeah, the deck seems good. <clears throat> Some of the plays are a little suspect, but oh, this hand seems fantastic. Yeah, it's real good. Jace is also not a defender, worth noting, so Jace can actually get in there with the Sword of Fire and Ice if he needs to. Oh yeah, that's good too against their deck. Both of these are all-stars against their green-based Planeswalker deck. Except for the Hexproof one. There's a Hexproof one? No. What yeah. are you saying, Mikael? The, you know, the 3 <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Being able to just resolve a Jace here is pretty strong. I feel like it's almost a better search for Ascanta. <clears throat> Trial by fire and hexproof Planeswalker. What did you say? Hmm? What did you say? Hexproof. What was you saying? What was the end result? The 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 dumb the o the o three the taps. Oh, the someone carry added. Did they yeah. have that? That was yeah. last round. Okay, so that's 1,000% of Rattleclaw. And we 1,000% <coughs> kill it. Do we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I would I would Mago Jet it. You can save that. I like that, actually. You're smart. I know people have said you're not smart, but I don't. I think they're, I think they're wrong. I think you're an intelligent gentleman. Um, <clears throat> I like Dark Dwellers, but I really don't want to have to draw it yet. I think we're just going to bottom the Dark Dwellers and keep the fourth land. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially with a... Uh, Jace Control Boy. magic in hand. Could have also played Sword of Fire and Ice, but again, if they have another mana and they have Frost Titan this time, then we just get blown out. Oh, we're definitely controlling that guy. That's really good. I don't actually want to loot here because I like our whole hand. <clears throat> I kind of want to land, though. Well, yeah, we can loot now. But, I mean, like, there was nothing I wanted to give up then. I knew we, we had a land coming, so. <clears throat> so we'll just pass. I could see pitching uh, Lightning Strike. Yeah, I could see that, too. 
Although, if they do manage to get this back, Lightning Strike does kill this guy. So, it might be better than Arc Trail at this point. Like, I don't imagine they're going to play two things. Fair point. <clears throat> but, the new Planeswalker rule is nice, because you can actually Arc Trail two different Planeswalkers. <clears throat> <clears throat> How much longer are you staying on? Until the end of this match, and then i got to wait for the AC guy. Connor Ryan, I thought I'd been... I thought we were echoing this for quite a while. This whole AC thing. The fact that they did play this means they probably don't have an answer for this guy, which is nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. The uh, the throat scratches are still, uh, you know, living life. What? Huh? I don't know. Huh? Huh? Oh, huh? did we just start with Hell You can't cast it, so. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Also, if I get a second red, I'm much more inclined to sword and play it. I actually equip it to Jace. Really? Yeah, because like... I don't hate that, actually. Because I don't want them to attack this guy. Right. <clears throat> this is putting all the eggs in one basket. Oh, also, Pearl Blue is pretty bad on the Control Magic guy. Oh, yeah. That's really... Yeah, you're... I don't know why you didn't attack with the other guy, but... Uh, because I want to keep him up. I like the, uh, the, the wolf ability. Okay. You don't like the wolf ability? I mean, I do. If they play any have... mana guy, I want to be able to kill it. Master of Wolf, Master of the Wild, Master of the Wild Hunt is more like I think it's more like um, Mother of Runes. Like you rarely attack with it because you always want to keep the ability the to shoot a guy it up. Takes the wolves deal damage to it, and it deals damage to the wolves. Yes, it okay. taps. It, it taps all the untapped wolves you control. Those wolves that are that become tapped deal damage to a creature, and the creature deals damage to the wolves. So it's kind of like a trade-off. Like, if you have three 2-2 two, two wolves that are untapped, it, they'll deal six to something. And if it's a 4-4, four, four, they get to deal four back to the wolves. So it's basically just all your wolves and then the guy fight. This is game three, though, right? So, I mean, yeah. like, they're going to play Frost Titan here. Which is fine. Because even if they tap this guy, like... We can actually tap our wolves and lightning strike this guy to kill it next turn. No, we can't because it's going to be tapped. Oh, we still get infinite wolves. Not really too concerned. And this guy's got pro blue. So. Can also move the sword. Yeah, we're probably going to do that and just keep up dissolve. We just get infinite wolves. Oh, that's a beautiful chicken. Can move the sword to a wolf if we wanted. I think that's probably better. Also noting he has four minutes to win the game. Although Titan can get it done pretty fast. Not if we block. <laughs> we have infinite wolf blockers. And if they're tapping a wolf down, then Master of the Wild Hunt survives. So it's like... <clears throat> we also have a dissolve. Like, they have two cards, we have a dissolve. Like, pretty brutal. I think we're going to make it. I think we're in good shape here. They're also at 10, and we have 5 damage of burn in hand. Set seven, eight damage of burn in hand. Yeah, or EOT lightning striking their face. So that's cool. They're also on three minutes around 17. The time disparity is real in this matchup. <clears throat> Infinite Wolves, the newest metal band out of Scandinavia. I felt like it best represents Scandinavian heritage. I don't know if that was a Scandinavian voice. It was probably pretty bad, but... <clears throat> you know what? I don't even care about Ashok at this point. This is game three. What did you get? Snap? You have nothing to hit, so... You also hit a... Opt in an island, sure. They don't have double blue for Vencer unless they use Coalition Relic, though. All right. Do I just assume their last card is not Vencer and Incendiary Flow? I mean, they take four here, right? Um, that we're dissolving. Yeah, that that. That's also the last card in their hand, yeah. so we get to untap, deal them six. This game's over. <clears throat> we get to untap, deal them six, and attack for four. So. You could tap a mountain, get cheeky. It doesn't I mean? But then this guy untaps, so we still deal him oh, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then shoot him once. 
Get cheeky. Get cheek, 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 and I'll come around you and I'll come around and get cheeky. Might as well loot discard. <laughs> Just in case. Sure. Wolves all day. All day, every day. We have so much burn and you have no cards in your hand. <clears throat> Go into the face. Should I incendiary flow then respond by? Uh... No, man, get this game over with. Okay. Woo! Two minutes and two and a half minutes left on their clock. They only used an extra fourteen minutes of that game, that match. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Both of the links are in the YouTube descriptions below. And uh, if you guys want to say happy birthday to Mike in the comments, please feel free to do so. It's Mike's happy 17th birthday. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate the support.